or the main room jets. And that's where they're located. They're located at the front of the wall. To help push waste. What I can say about this toy is the trapping on this toy is seems absolutely massive. It does have some glaze cracks, but no stru structural ones, too. So it should be fine. And that hole, that's the channel that goes to the siphon jet. When it goes to that hole, the water will be going down like that. And... It will make the siphon jet shoot water into the trap. And same goes with the same with the other side. The other side has one too. It's down like that. And it shoots water. Water comes from both of the hole comes in both of the holes, which are right here, and then they go underneath, and the siphon jet starts shooting water, and then after that, the water goes into the rim, which is this part right here. I'll show you guys that right now. This is the front part that goes through the rim, I believe. And, yeah. Now, I'll be right back while I flip the toy upside down. Here it is, upside down. It's basic vintage. There's an M right there. Maybe it means for... I don't know what that means, honestly. Front part, it's nothing else. But that's the edge of the, the trapway, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what that is. And inside of the trapway, that's where it is. Here it is. Now I'll show you guys where. The date is, so I believe the six, there's a six right here. 
Let me turn my camera around. Six. One. And there's a 29 right there. And that's some kind of pattern number. I don't know what that is. 170. And this is why I guess that this would be from 1929. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.